From war we have learned the meaning of peace. To build our destiny together. We were divided. We are united. We were alone. We have become allies. All that thanks to a simple idea, but one which changes the world. That the prosperity and security of each country depends on that of its neighbor. Le génie des pères fondateurs de l'Union Européenne a été de créer ce projet politique sur une base économique, faisant en sorte que la guerre devienne impossible, créant une interdépendance des faits, créant précisément les mécanismes d'un marché intégré. Derrière le projet européen, il y a cette envie d'être ensemble pour être enfin en paix, en démocratie, dans un continent stable. Mais ça ne suffit pas d'avoir envie d'être ensemble. Il faut avoir aussi besoin, il faut avoir intérêt à être ensemble. Et ça, c'est l'économie. Today, because the world is what it is, the need for unity has become even stronger. It is vital, more than ever. The single market is our best asset. Cette dose d'optimisme doit tout être en, en nous, c'est redonner aux citoyens, aux consommateurs et aux producteurs l'espoir et la conviction que, au niveau européen, seulement au niveau européen, nous pouvons affréter le, le défi mondial. The world is looking towards other continents. It is for Europe to set itself apart with what it is, its culture, brilliance and values, and with what it has, its know-how, its innovation and its message. We can do it. We have always shown the same resolve to boost a sometimes feeble economic growth. And we're doing it again today by trying to create a single market which is easier, cheaper and more secure. A market whose heart beats to the rhythm of its businesses, consumers and citizens. Mi nombre es Gabriel Siquier, mi pareja es holandesa y pensamos que era más fácil encontrar trabajo en Holanda que, que en España. Al ser dentro de Europa, yo estaba seguro que podía mantener mi, mi título de medicina. El mercado europeo para mí mm, ha significado pues, una oportunidad muy grande, una oportunidad de formarme internacionalmente. Por ejemplo, yo ten, hice un Erasmus en Italia eh, y, me ha, y ha significado la oportunidad de trabajar. For millions of Erasmus students, the single market represents a promise of freedom. For all other Europeans, it opens up a whole world of opportunities. Without internal borders, it's easier to travel. Above all, it's easier for us to build the best life for ourselves in the place which is best for us. La libre circulation des personnes, ça c'était le grand succès de l'idée européenne. Il n'y avait plus de frontières, il n'y avait plus de contrôle, il n'y avait plus de contrôle aussi douanières qui étaient souvent pénibles. The difficulties that we are going through in this period of crisis can't overshadow the importance of what has been done nor the reasons for doing it. It would be worse than betraying our past. It would be denying us our future. The single market is a vast territory of opportunity where we can live, we can move, we can buy and sell things, we can study, uh, and it gives us the scale of a continent, uh, just as the Americans have one, just as the Chinese have one. And people have forgotten how many obstacles there were to moving from one country to another, to working in another country, to studying in another country, selling goods, buying goods, receiving services. Opening the field of possibilities for citizens, consumers, professionals. Je m'appelle Gilles Ernou, je travaille à l'Institut supérieur de formation sociale et de communication ici à Bruxelles. Alors depuis quelques années maintenant, on a pris l'habitude d'acheter un certain nombre de choses sur Internet, une fois que c'est possible. Moi, je suis toujours plus à l'aise de me dire que j'achète quelque chose pas trop loin de chez moi plutôt que quel autre bout du monde, parce que j'ai l'impression d'avoir plus de possibilités de réclamer si ça se passe à quelques kilomètres de chez moi plutôt qu'à quelques milliers de kilomètres. 
Au niveau de l'e-commerce transfrontière, il y a encore énormément de, 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 de problèmes qui doivent être réglés, qui ne sont pas des problèmes de loi, ce sont vraiment des problèmes très pratiques. Si je dois renvoyer quelque chose à l'autre bout de l'Europe, c'est quand même beaucoup plus compliqué que si je dois le rapporter au, euh, au commerçant un peu plus loin qui peut gérer le retour des biens défectués. Dovessi sceglierne una simbolica dell'Europa del futuro sarebbe il mercato unico digitale. Questo ha un potenziale di creazione di prodotto e di occupazione grandioso. In the case of transport, this is happening through amongst other things co-modality, which means using each form of transport to its greatest efficiency. In the final analysis, that's what makes it possible to travel long distances and arrive where we want to be. My name is Minna Parikka. I'm a Helsinki-based accessory and shoe designer, designing under my own name. It would be really difficult to imagine that EU wouldn't exist. I cannot really imagine what it would be like to work within Europe without the single market. We work with several countries outside of the EU and so much paperwork, so many duty. The single market uh, has meant that uh, a European manufacturer doesn't have to go to every single ministry in the 27 members of the Union to get uh, an homologation in order to be able to place their products. And it's exactly because products travel more easily that we must protect even further our creations. A good idea, industrial or scientific, is a precious asset. Not long ago, costs were too high and administrative difficulties when applying for a patent in Europe dampen the competitiveness of our products. Worse, they paralyze the creativity of our inventors. We had to react. With the new unitary European patent, innovation has been given a new momentum. From now on, a single patent will cover 25 member states, and in 2014, its price will go down from 36,000 euros to less than 5,000 euros. Easier, cheaper, more effective. The unitary patent protects the intellectual property of European creations and, as a result, opens the doors of the world to our entrepreneurs. Doing more to encourage entrepreneurs, doing more to protect the health and security of its consumers, that too is Europe. European identity is not an empty concept. It's an identity which strengthens more than it weakens. A concrete identity which in large part owes its strength to the single market. In the 20 years since the establishment of the single market, we have experienced some monumental changes, some intense joys, but also some dark days. So many things have been achieved, so many others remain to be done. But however hard the task, it will never be greater than our determination. To raise the challenges that are in front of us, I think we have the good instruments, the treaty, euh, les institutions européennes. C'est davantage une question de, de volonté et de moyens. The world is always changing and nothing can be taken for granted. In 2050, there will no longer be any European countries among the eight most powerful economies in the world. Will we know then how to pick ourselves up, this time as Europeans, and regain our place in the world? Will we be the ones who will make the planet a fairer, more inclusive and cleaner place? Will we be able to defend our democratic values through diplomacy and a common defense policy? Will we be intelligent enough to regulate an economy which is able to combine growth and dignity? Will we succeed in speaking a single voice to make ourselves heard in the chorus of the continental states? These are our challenges, those which it is in our interest to face together, rather than each on their own, or each one for themselves, because one thing is certain, Si on regarde lucidement le monde tel qu'il est, avec ces grands pays qui sont de véritables états continents, la Chine, l'Inde, la Russie, les États-Unis, le Brésil, on voit bien que pour rester à la table de ceux qui vont décider du destin du monde, il faut être européen 